and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. So it is already like like two o'clock ish, but I wanted to vlog today because I feel like people have these days where they stay in bed all morning. By the way, it's Saturday for me today, but you have these days where maybe you slept in or maybe you relaxed in your bed all day and then you feel like your day's wasted and you can't get anything done. So you tend to be unproductive for the rest of the day. I've been there. Sometimes I still do that. I'll be like, oh no, it's too late for my day. I don't have, like I can't do anything else, but I'm going to prove to you today that even if you wake up late, you stay in bed, we can still be productive. So if you are having an unproductive day and you stayed in bed too long, this is the video for you. But we are going to do like a couple things today, not really many important things. So I'm gonna try and be as productive, but chill at the same time. I think I'm even going to like bake a chocolate cake later tonight. So we'll have fun with all that stuff because I've never vlogged with you guys actually in the kitchen with me cooking it up. So I think we're gonna do that today and bake a little bit. But for right now, it is about two o'clock and I haven't even eaten yet today, which is really bad. I never do that. I only had like fruit. So I am going to go run as a surprise for the hubby. I'm going to go run to Duncan because he's not feeling very well this morning. He has like a really bad headache. I'm gonna go get him like some donuts and some coffee. So yeah, let's go and do that. This is the fit for today. Can you guys see how wrinkly this shirt is? I just didn't care. On days like this, you just throw on whatever you can. So I literally just threw on this shirt from the bike company. I may throw it in the dryer <laughs> to actually de-wrinkle itself. And then I'm wearing those same joggers I wore in in another vlog for you guys from Amazon. I'm just trying to try them out. Whenever I get new joggers, I wanna test them out, try them out, see how I like them, make sure I like them, and then I may order some more for like the holiday season, and then I just have some slides on, so now let's go. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do normal donuts then. Could I get a, um, do you guys just have like regular glazed? Yes ma'am, how many of those? Could I just do that for all of them? Yeah, I'm gonna get two coffees. I think one's going to be a small caramel iced coffee. Does that come with espresso? No ma'am. Could I add two shots in that one? And then could I do that same drink? But could I get it in a large four shots of espresso? Thank you so much. I don't know if the hubs is gonna like this drink because he has really bad migraines. So I don't know if you guys know, but caffeine can really help headaches. So if you have just like an average everyday headache, having some coffee can help relieve some of that pain. But he said he's having a migraine. So I asked him, I was like, I'm gonna go grab you something surprise, but do you want any coffee? He goes, yes. I was like, okay, how many shots of espresso? He said four. I was like, Babe, are you sure? He was like, yes, I need that crap strong. So I'm like, okay, you're gonna get four shots. I don't know if he's gonna like it though. Like, like the flavor because he is someone that likes very sweet drinks. And you guys know I like sweet drinks, but he likes even sweeter than me. Like he does not want the taste of coffee in his drink. He hates the taste of coffee, but he likes the energy and the, you know, what coffee can do for you. Okay, you guys, we have secured the donut. His looks better than mine. Like his looks much lighter. Mine looks dark. I don't know why mine looks like that. Oh God, that's too strong. Oh no, I'm gonna have to add some creamer. They did something wrong. I'm about to have to try his. I'll let you guys know when we get back to the house. Hey you guys, so I figured out what the problem was. They didn't put cream in mine and they put cream in his. Also, I know liquid cane sugar ain't that good for you, but what we are going to do is put some dang creamer in it because that is way too strong. much better okay I can drink that but this is the almond milk creamer that I always use I just prefer it. it is flavored vanilla but I prefer almond milk instead of you know normal milk dairy just always messes with me so try and have as least amount of dairy as possible let's go bring the hubs his stuff to get the munchkins, but they did not have them. So I just got you a half a dozen. Okay, thanks. Okay, you guys, so I am going to bring him a headache hat. If any of you guys are curious what that is, also we still have freaking boxes everywhere from 
moving, but a headache cat. I'm also out of breath. Essentially what it is, is what it sounds like. It looks like this hat that goes on your head. So I'll show it to you guys. So it looks like this and it Velcros. So you Velcro it on your head and the hubby got this for me probably like two years ago. I've been struggling with really bad migraines for like four years now, but he got me this and I've used it ever since. I'll link it down below for you guys. If you're someone that gets really bad headaches or bad migraines or anything like that, this is something really good to get because I don't know, it's just really good. It ends up wrapping around your whole head and it makes your whole head cold. So I'm gonna go give this to him, I'm gonna make breakfast and then I will chat with you guys after that. Okay, you guys, so it is, I feel like it's late already. Yeah, so it's four. We were watching this show, SWAT, really, really, really good, but I'm literally going to do all of my work from my bed today, just because that's the type of mood I'm in. So right now, I am going to take some time to edit this video. So when you guys are watching the video I'm filming right now, this one will already be live on my channel. This will be the video that went live last week. So I literally just did a vlog, like a super, super productive, like fun vlog. So I'm gonna sit here and edit this. It's like 50 minutes of footage and I've only edited like two minutes of it so far. So I definitely got a minute to go. How you feeling, babe? The people wanna know. I feel like ass. Said you feel like the hangover, but without the drinking. That's pretty craps. So we've been just watching SWAT. And we are going to edit in bed. I also really recommend this little table thing that I got. I actually bought it before we went on vacation, or not vacation, but before we moved here to Texas. So essentially what it is, is it has a little mouse pad so you can put your mouse clearly. It has this little spot that you can like stick your phone on. And then it has the place for your computer. So you can get this on Amazon or you can get it at Best Buy, but this is what lets me get like work done in bed because I just have haven't been feeling like editing in the office or anything like that. It just hasn't been something that I've been wanting to do. So having this has been like super, super helpful and it's really inexpensive too. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to get it, but it's nice for like road trips. It's good for, you know, working in bed or doing anything like that. But yeah, time to edit. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like it got late so fast. It's six o'clock and it definitely took me a couple of hours to edit my video. So what I'm doing now is I always come to like the little modem box or the Wi-Fi box or whatever. And I plug my computer in because it actually helps me download the video faster. So whenever I'm done editing, I always download the video to my computer. I put it on my little hard drive to have it just in case the file ends up corrupt or whatever. And then I upload it to YouTube and I pre-upload it. So that is what I'm doing right now. And clearly while I'm doing that, I can't be on the computer. So I am actually going to probably answer some of my emails. So I have had a couple of emails from some brands that I really need to get back to. And I haven't like emailed them back, which is really bad because it's been like four days. And I like to email them back much quicker, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult when you don't have like a management company or anything and you have to do it all. You know, you have to do your everyday life. You have to answer emails. You have to, you know, do YouTube videos, do school. And it's just a lot. So sometimes it can get a little bit difficult to like answer emails, especially when I hate answering emails. So so this video, let's see how long it's going to take to save. I'll answer some emails and then let's see what else. I feel like there's more stuff on my to-do list. So I just edited next week's vlog. Ooh, I need to make a script for a video. So there's a video that I wanna do on a certain scam that goes around during the holiday season. So there is a scam that goes around during the holiday season and it doesn't really seem like a scam, but the actual like business bureau came out and said that it's an illegal pyramid scheme. So I wanna do a video on that because you guys know I do videos on scams and things like that. So I'm going to do a video on that because I've seen literally even my own family talk 
talking on Facebook about doing it and they don't know that it's, you know, an illegal pyramid scheme. So I'm definitely going to talk about, or I'm going to write the script for that video. I like writing scripts for my videos. Answer emails, then write a script, because by that time, hopefully this video is done. It says it's going to take 20 minutes to save. I'll upload it to YouTube and then I'll do those things. And it's already six. I also have to cook dinner and I wanted to make a cake and have fun like baking with you guys. We will see. We'll see how much we can get done. But that's what happens on days that you wake up late or you stay in bed all morning. You end up, you know, up late pretty much trying to do things, so. And this is everything I had on my to-do list, even though I haven't done a lot of it. Just like editing and stuff takes a lot of time. So clearly like editing Wednesday's vlog took me a couple of hours. And then those are the other things I have on my to-do list. And then this quote, people keep chasing what they don't have instead of being grateful for what's right in front of them. I heard that quote on a TV show and I had to save it. Okay, so for dinner, we have like a couple home chef meals to choose from. So the meal that is actually shorter to cook is not the meal that me and him are obsessed with. We are obsessed with steak and potatoes. We could probably eat that every day. So I have to take the meat out and soak it <laughs> because if I don't, if I don't soak the meat, we won't be good. And Kai is not happy. He just wants me to hang out with him. He doesn't like that I'm talking to you guys. If you forget to take meat out one night, just soak it in water and that'll help it defrost fast. So we're definitely gonna be eating late. Maybe I'll make the cake before the meat's defrosted. But let me go back to answering emails cause I need to write these brands back for some brand deals during December, which I'm like so excited for because it's stuff that I know you guys are gonna love and actually benefit from and things that I love because I would never do a brand deal with a company that I just don't care about their product and I know that their product wouldn't help you guys. I wouldn't do a brand deal with them, but say bye. Speak. <laughs> that was bye. Okay, you guys, we have got everything that we need to make a cake. Now, is this going to be some fancy cake? No. Is the cake going to be gluten-free and delicious? Yes. So I literally just have a box of cake. I'm really not the person that needs to make everything homemade all of the time. Now, I do think if you want to make cakes and stuff homemade, they can be a lot healthier. You can use a lot more healthy ingredients, really know what's going into it and everything like that. But that's not what we're gonna do today. I even went and got the Pillsbury chocolate fudge icing because the girl doesn't care. So we've got avocado oil, vegetable oil, almond milk, eggs, the measuring cups that we need. The directions say heat oven to 350. You got it, girl, you got it. But wait, it says how much? Can I make two eight inch round cake pans? Oh gosh, then I don't have enough frosting to frost. Oh, this is a double layer. Well, these are only nine inches. I don't have eight inch cake rounds. Maybe I should do cupcakes then. You guys wanna do cupcakes instead? This seems like it's gonna to be too complicated. Back it up, we are baking some cupcakes. So I don't have 12 cupcake things. I only have a small thing of cupcakes and big cupcakes. So I guess we're just gonna do it like that and this one will clearly cook quicker than this one will. So oh well, I'm gonna spray them with avocado oil. I don't even know if that's like the best thing to use but it's all a girl has. So spray, 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 because so I don't have cupcake things. We're gonna just go with the flow. I guess I'm not going to be listening to directions because the last time that I did that, the last time I made brownies, it had me mix the liquids first, but then what happened was because the liquid was at the bottom, when I used this to whisk it, like the powder went everywhere. So I'm not gonna do that. That's just not gonna be what we do here, okay? We are going to do this first, and then we will put the liquids in. Oh, it smells good. And the thing says don't eat the raw cake batter, but I always do. Last time I got really sick from doing it, but it was worth it. One egg. The other egg is right here. Yay. Oh, sorry you guys are so far. Maybe I should bring you guys closer. Now it says for milk, you need a cup and a half. So we're gonna, like I said, do almond milk. So, oh my God, that's so much. That says a cup and a half. A cup of milk and a half. This is a half, yeah. And then it says vegetable oil, so. Need a whole cup of vegetable oil. 
That's a lot though. For any of my like bakers, is there anything to use an alternative of that much vegetable oil? That's so much to me. So I'll bring you guys to it. That's how it looks. Let's mix her on up. Okay, you guys, so we've got our batter. I'll show it to you. Literally nothing special. This is not a <laughs> special cake or anything like that. And what I do, because we haven't finished fully unpacking, I think we have one more box that has, what's it called? One more box that has like kitchen stuff in it. And because of that, what I am going to use is an ice cream scooper. So with the ice cream scooper, we are going to fill these. What I'm actually gonna try and do is fill them as closely as possible because these are so much bigger. Like this pan is so much bigger than this one. So I'm not gonna fill these up that much because I just don't want them to have two separate times that they are going to be coming out, you know, of the oven. So now I'm just like trying to tap them on the counter to flatten them. The oven is ready. So we are going to put them in now. Put these in real quick. We have that much batter left. So what I'm going to do is after these cupcakes are done, I am going to use the small pan. That'll probably give us like three more at least. And then now let's clean up. Hey guys, so I just, I should probably take that off the stove. I just cleaned off all of the counters. I put that to the side. And now I'm going to prep dinner. So last week I actually talked to you guys about Home Chef. Home Chef is a meal delivery service that I one day hope to be sponsored by. I think I'm actually going to email them and chat with them because I just got done emailing all of the other brands today that I've been in talks with. So this is gonna be a steak with roasted potatoes. Now beets, the husband will not eat, but I will. I will eat literally any type of vegetable. I think beets count as a vegetable, but yeah, I'll eat them all. So I think while these are cooking, 18 minutes left for those, we can at least get dinner prepped, like cutting the potatoes and doing everything like that. So at least when I put this back in, when I put this, you know, into the oven, at least dinner will be ready and prepped. And then all we have to do is cook dinner. So I know it's kind of late though. It's already 7.48, which is pretty late, but but that's kind of just like what happens, I feel, whenever you have a late start to your day, things are going to be happening a little bit later than normal. So, yeah, but anyways, I also have to take my medication. I don't think I've ever really talked about this on my channel before. Yeah, I've never really talked about like any of my health concerns on social media just because a lot of stuff is like really private to me but I do struggle with insomnia. So I struggle, oh wait, do I have to peel the potatoes? Do they want them peeled? Again, Home Chef actually shows you what and how to cook the ingredients. So no, it says to keep that on there so I won't peel them. I'll just cut off the ends. But I actually struggle with insomnia. So essentially what that means is I just struggle with falling asleep. I struggle staying asleep and all of that stuff. So. I have to take medication about four hours before I want to go to bed so that I can fall asleep and stay asleep. Out of patience, out of patience. Yeah, you, you, you keep me waiting. I'm waiting, done waiting. I, I, I'm running out of patience. You kept me at a distance. You barely let me in. Okay, you guys, so I essentially have the potatoes prepped. They're over there. I actually decided to not do the beets, and I think I'm just going to do broccoli that I have in the freezer. Yes, frozen broccoli, because there's nothing wrong with sometimes not using fresh vegetables. It's okay, you can use freezer vegetables. And then I just set everything up. So I got my seasonings that I'm going to be using for the steak. Usually I just use like salt and pepper, because Gordon Ramsay says to just use salt and pepper, but I don't want to prep the steak yet until I'm on that last round of the cupcakes. But yeah, everything is essentially like prepped and ready 
for me to cook dinner. I put all of my little like ingredients right here, my seasonings, got the bag there. That's another thing I love about Home Chef is because they give you this bag, as I am cooking, I put all of the trash, like these packets of seasoning they give me, I always put it in there whenever I'm done using it. So yeah, it's always like super helpful. I also cut up the chives. So yeah, I will see you guys whenever these cupcakes are ready. This is how they look. Hey, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So again, going to wait for them to cool down, probably in a way like five or 10 minutes, take these out, clean this batter, put more in, then I'm going to start cooking dinner. So I already cooked the steak for dinner. The potatoes only have 12 more minutes, but the steaks are resting, so I thought now would be the perfect time to frost some of these. Now I have this, which my grandma used to always use when she would frost our cupcakes, and also the Rest of the batter only made three small ones. I'm also a little bit sad. I forgot we had chocolate chips that I could have used. So I think I'm going to use this. But I do have a plastic spoon just in case I decide to use that. I'm curious, what do you guys? Yeah, like this isn't sturdy enough. But I mean, it works pretty good. I'm so excited. I just want to make sure I have enough frosting for all of them. But okay, guys, let's play some music. And I will see you guys when these are all frosted and dinner is officially ready. How many days? done so they are good they are good for after dinner i'll show you guys dinner once i plate it on the very pretty paper plate okay you guys so once again those are the cupcakes and then the and don't worry about kai i gotta get them from out back and this is what we made for dinner so we just have potatoes broccoli with cheese i put a lot more cheese on his i keep mine in a bowl let me know if any of you guys have this issue but i cannot have my foods touching like mm, i just don't like it so i always have to use a bowl but that's for dinner. I cut his steak like that. I cut our, my steak into pieces. And that is going to be all for today's vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and had some fun cooking with me, baking with me. I'm also curious, are you the type of person, before we go, to actually clean up before you eat? So like if you look at the kitchen, I literally have already like wiped everything down and this is the bag of trash that just needs to go in the trash can. Very curious if you're that type of person, but that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed a productive, I would say productive evening because this was a chill day in my life, but trying to be productive whenever we wake up late or, you know, we stay in bed all morning. So don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what was your favorite thing about this video so that I know in the future what can I do more to, you know, make it more enjoyable for you guys, especially with Vlogmas coming up next week. So that is all. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload three videos a week, normally Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will actually be participating in Vlogmas, meaning you will get 24 to 25 videos in December. That is all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye! <laughs> yeah!